I've been going on on my, by, by myself here for like several <laughs> minutes, so we're gonna yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the the non uh, weekly AMA where we're gonna be uh, welcome the non labs art team up here with us. Uh, you guys had an event yesterday going over the rebrand uh, from from Ethereum's OS to non and sort of some of what that entailed and uh, what that chaotic time was like for you guys. And uh, I just got to say, I, I, I keep seeing the art that you guys are creating, both the, one, both the stuff that's uh, been published out and the stuff that's still sort of behind the scenes for now. Uh, huge fan. It is awesome. It is awesome art. <laughs> Uh, so going through here, uh, I think we have everyone now uh, looking through, see if we have any questions. Uh, non Lethe, I see you have a couple here. Uh, let's see. We can go through them. Uh, this is, yep. Uh, so the first one from you are, uh, are there any plans to release native NFT PFPs in the future? I really appreciate the art team and design and would love to own an NFT as my social media avatar. Anyone wanna take this one on? <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, yes, we plan some NFT, but uh, no, we didn't thought about uh, NFT uh, of BFP. Maybe we can think about it, but. And then yes, you, I... buy, you buy someone else, the PFP of someone else or yours. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't think we can go too far into the details, but there will be uh, NFTs in the future of some kind, of some sort. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> we have to, but <laughs> we we have to plan uh, in a good uh, way before. Yep. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I. I I, I, I've gotten to get at least a picture uh, of the, the art teams of me as a PFP and I love it. It's, it's all my socials now. Uh, and I, I think it'd be really cool to, to for other people to get something uh, to put up there and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, another question from non Lethe here is the art team is great and I'm eager to see more from them. Are there any deeper plans? I think native NFTs might also be a good method to boost our marketing. Uh, there should be quite a few people in the community who appreciate their creations. Uh, and I think, I think we touched on this a little bit with the first question that yes, there, there will be something, uh, but we can't go into too much details uh, quite yet. Uh, but do definitely do uh, expect something along those lines here in the future. Hey, everyone. Good morning. Good, Good evening. Morning. How's it yes, going, our good. team? Hi, Vale. Hey, JPN. Spin the moon. Hey. Mr. Shackle, hey guys. David. Hey, how's hey, it Duke. going? All good, man. Thanks. Good. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little under the weather this morning. I joined late, but it's nice to come and hang out with you guys. I always love to come and yeah. hang out with you guys. Incredible work. Thank you, man. Thanks yeah. so well. Who, Thanks so much. Thank you, David. You did the art cover for the latest article, right? <clears throat> I think he did. Man, whoever yes, did that art he did. cover did. Now it. is mute, but he did. That was that was awesome. That was that was really great. Yeah, they did a great job with the covers. Yeah. He, oh, okay. He's, I don't know if maybe he has some problem with the mic. Mm. I, I couldn't. I cannot hear JPN. By the way. Oh, I can hear JPN. Yeah, maybe David's mic is uh, is no good. 
because it says he has speaking privileges, but and uh, yeah, I, I I heard him just a little bit there. Oh, cool! I can hear you fine, at least. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And looks like we got uh, Azvari E BNB Raider. Welcome to the space. Sorry if I'm uh, mispronouncing it. Welcome, everyone. Hey. Hey, Spindemol, I'm I'm curious, like, what was your journey, you know, to come to doing, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, crypto or, you know, art and crypto, things like this? Like, you know, did, <clears throat> when was the first, what was the very first time, the Genesis point, you heard about crypto? Uh, okay, so this is a funny story, I guess. <laughs> so basically, I was uh, working as a senior concept artist for video game companies. Mm. Like, uh, I did a bunch of jobs for different companies, like Truexion, yeah. Wizard of the Coast, etc., etc. And uh, I, I, in 2014, actually, I had a hard time in my life. I was playing a lot of video games at home, yep. especially Destiny. Oh, nice. And I met Toshi. I met Toshi on Destiny. Oh, we nice. became friends. Nice. He invite he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I wish I would have met you guys. I was playing it at the same time. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> and there was, uh, you know, the first ride at the Vault of Glass. Oh, Vault of Glass. I was I just going to say, Vault exactly. of Glass and Remember the boss? <laughs> exactly. And cheesing the boss as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese it with and a fusion grenade. I couldn't grenade. find yep. uh, anyone right. that was uh, good enough to start. And then... Uh, I met this random guy, Toshi, in the hub, in the game hub, that said, like, hey, man, you're from Italy, you want to play with us? And wow. I did my first ride with him, and we became friends, and we kept in touch That's for years. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. And uh, one day in 2000, early 2021, I heard about, uh, I heard about this NFT craze stuff. Yep. And I, I did my first... Uh, uh, MetaMask wallet. I bought my first Ether. Yeah. I I sold my first NFTs actually. My first NFT got sold out for zero point seven in like twenty four hours. Nice. I was like, well, uh, what is wow. this? <laughs> nice. And uh, and uh, I got in contact uh, with Toshi again, and he told me like, hey man, you know, crypto is not just like uh, this NFT bubble and stuff like yeah. this. If you're right. if you're interested, I'm working with this. Hit me up. Yeah. So yep. we started talking, and uh, he told me, like, because uh, we, we always uh, clicked very well. So yep. we always uh, had this dream to, to work together a little bit, and he, he he asked me to work with him. I was with another company full-time, yeah. but uh, I started uh, working part-time, part-time with him and Vasa and yeah. Vale. Yep. And, uh, and uh, I really love the job and, uh, and the team as well. So nice. in uh, one year from that, I, I signed and I, I went full time awesome. with Ethereans. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so it's, that's amazing. What a story. It's been a very... I, I had <laughs> yeah, no idea. You know, I knew you guys were both from Italy. I didn't know if you were, you know, just schoolmates or boys from back in the day. But uh, that's so cool. Destiny Clowmates. Um, yeah, man. I was all about I put at least 1,200 hours into destiny one and the first four expansions and they actually <laughs> remade vault of glass last year i know yeah. too I and know, so man. the yeah. three of us the four of us should uh party up <laughs> and play it sometime that would be awesome that would be great. The the thing is that i don't know you guys but i think i don't know about you guys i think it's kind of the same that when you start, you know, having a family and working yeah. a lot, uh, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Destiny takes a lot of time. Yeah, Even if Absolutely. I still follow what happens with the Absolutely. game, because I love the art direction. Yep. And I really like Bungie as a yeah. video game company. Yep. But yeah. No, I hear you. <laughs> but, see, the, but see, my, the boys are, my boys are 10 and 13 now, so they just play with me. So it's, it's all good. Oh, <laughs> they're cool. not young anymore. That's great. So. You got half of a raid crew there now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, non-frog, pixelated cat non-citizen and non-conan the trader welcome guys thanks for coming to hang out hey everyone yeah that's awesome um let's see yeah mr shackle it's been really fun uh getting to work with you over the last couple of weeks too man this has been really cool i've been enjoying it so yeah And, and so you just do you you have uh not necessarily worked in crypto but mostly worked in art was that right mr shackle yeah, right. Just in gotcha. my my presence here, it's all Dave's fault. 
Uh, we've been working <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, we've been working together a lot in the past years, and then um, the, the last year uh, we started the first project, uh, the first animation, and so yeah. I jump in in the project, and then I meet Toski. <laughs> nice. Here nice. we are. Yep. 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 Um, yeah, and I mean, you know, it's. Uh, it's uh you know branding is so important and it's you know it's so cool the work that you guys do and uh you know really helps with you know with brand stickiness and things like that you know especially you know as we go live with the marketing and things like that and to have the recognizability and you know when when people come and they see the dedication and the passion that goes into the artwork and things like this i mean they really understand that you know non nation um, and Ethereum's OS prior is, is something special and something different, you know? So um, it's not just amazingly technical in, in the platform that's going to transform Ethereum, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, got, uh, it's got many different layers. So hats off to you guys for the work that you do. It's pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, if you think about it, I think it's pretty cool that the company that's very tech-savvy and focused invest in art as well. Yeah, right. Right. Also, because not only because I mean, on a communication reason, to me makes total sense. Because you know, for different uh, yeah, reasons. So, for example, one is that of course visuals are always an immediate way of communication. So this for sure, and also because the crypto world, and I saw this in I'm since 2021 in this world. So yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff happens. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of stories of a heroism and disgrace. It's a very yep. Shakespearean uh, world. You, know? right. you just Absolutely. have to see the coins, how they pump and up. <laughs> so it's, yep. uh, it gives you a lot of uh, material mm -hmm. to get inspired if you look at it in the proper way. Right. And uh, yeah, so I think for us it's uh, pretty exciting as well. Yeah. Also because there's a lot of good stuff to come in the future as well. Yeah, as they say, for the culture, you know, we're giving some culture to the space, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we, we certainly have um, such a defined art style and branding, and it's going to be really uh, amazing, you know, as we go public and as people learn about the project and we blow up, you know, people will really identify with the style, you know. And this, these are the kind of things that, you know, make something stick, you know, people become emotionally attached to the art or, you know, attached to, you know, these characters and things like this, you know, and the ecosystem uh, that they inhabit. So it's, it's really cool to see. Um, yes. Yeah. So definitely. And also uh, I think it's, it puts a lot of, it puts some of the human element, you know, in the algorithm. It's yeah. not just yep. mathematics. Yep. For and sure. 100%. this is always healthy, I think, yeah, for the company, for, for everyone. 100%. I, I couldn't agree more. So, yep. And uh, for everybody, you know, who's joined, you know, um, we'll give you guys speaking privileges. Feel free to uh, unmute and, uh, and ask a question if you have a question for any of the art team or for JPNRI. And, um, no pressure, just a hangout space here. So um, feel free to unmute and hang out. In, in Vale, nice to hang out with you and, and be on the space together. We only get to work together like once every two or three months, but it's always fun to, to, to work together, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yep, yep. And we've got Feet Warden here. Welcome to the space, Feet Warden. Thanks for coming to hang out. So what are, what are some of the, uh, is there any other art in the space that you guys admire or that you can think of? I mean, nobody's, nobody's doing it like we're doing it, in my opinion. Of course, there's so many NFT projects and things like that. But is there any other project that has a particular art style or anything that you guys admire or think is cool? Mm, honestly, just my cup of tea. Not so much. I mean, yeah. there, is, there are a lot of amazing right. artists. In right. the space, mm -hmm. yeah. but even in sure. the NFT ecosystem, there there are like super overrated artists and super underrated artists. Right, there are really some gems and people with a yep. lot of skills. Yeah. But speaking of companies, I mean, my culture about companies in the space is not the biggest for sure. Yeah. But uh, I found a lot of companies that do very like you know 
professional work, hiring some studio to make you the logo, some animation, right. like, I don't know, Metamask, right. they do like this, right. uh, vectorial stuff, minimal right. stuff, Ethereum uh, foundation right. as well. They have nice visuals, very yeah. Moebius inspired, but yep. still uh, I haven't found uh, yeah. a team with a vision, also because the vision is... Uh, you need a company with a vision yeah. on the aesthetics as well. I agree. Our it's company a, yeah. has this yeah. vision that Ale and Vale started together. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah. I a lot think of it is so reason. transactional in the space and just for money and things like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's no soul behind it. You know what I mean? Exactly. And when I look at our art and our style and, and you know, um, how it has evolved and yet retained, you know, I mean, you can go back to, you know, early, you know, 2021, late 2020 with some of the, you know, covers from the articles, things like that. And, you know, you can you can see, you know, and, you know, the roots of it, you know what I mean? And, and you know, just how it has evolved and things like that. And there's a real like purpose and soul behind it. Whereas I agree. Yes, there's tons of companies who will pump out, you know, art or, you know, you know, different uh you know fonts things like this for companies on requests and you know do it for a payday but i don't see anybody who's making art in things like the way that we're making it for branding and kind of for the love of it and, and wanting to tell the story of these characters and things like that you know yeah exactly also because in, in my opinion one uh, challenge we had to face which is one of the things that make makes this work so interesting to me at least is that while well, when you work for video game companies you are focused on like uh, not necessarily realism but working with the highest uh, skill level yep. you can achieve yep and that's it and of course creativity to communicate etc cetera, etc cetera. but in the yep. crypto space you have also to communicate some very difficult concepts like uh business concepts, mathematical concepts, or like just the stuff about the ecosystem, like the lore, the people. So it's, yep. uh, it's very interesting. It's very fresh for yeah, us to yeah, do. Definitely. And uh, I think the team is gaining momentum because now it's a bit we're working together. The company itself and us uh, were much more organized. So yeah, yeah, very curious to see where we will go. Right, I, right, I, for I, sure. I think we are, we are also more uh, aligned uh, because it was difficult uh, at the beginning to find um, a common style for all of us uh, because we, we are four yeah. artists. So, right. To, to find a common yeah, set merging, of style. merging four artists with different, you know, not necessarily the same yeah. styles, things like that, and yeah. finding a way to come together for the brand style, things like that. That's, that's an interesting challenge. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> You know, yeah, as a, shout as an out outsider, to... you just kind of think of, you know, <laughs> you know, this is the brand style, people that, but artists come with their own style and the way that they're, you know, used to drawing things, things like that, and, and adding their own element to the branding and things like that. Yeah. Yes. Also, we got, I think, a shout to do a shout out to Toshi and Baza because they allowed yeah. us to, and they pushed us to make uh uh, visual research, Ale was uh, first hand involved in this, mm -hmm. yeah. so we had time to do R and D and to try different styles yep. and to experiment with them. So very this cool. was very important because usually, a lot of companies they just want the visuals; they don't even care about the right. visual itself. They just right. want a visual quickly done, uh, more yep. cheap as possible, with a good quality. Mm -hmm. So they usually right. push for vectorial stuff, which in the at the end of the days. That's why you don't. Re we don't remember a lot of companies' art because right. it's uh, it follows a pattern, right. a very uh, strict pipeline, and yep. uh, you lose a lot in this yeah. way. In my opinion, yeah. <laughs> it's the monetization pipeline. Just just pump it out as quick as possible so it can do its thing, <laughs> create some value, exactly. some short term value, and then we'll never think about it or hear about it again. You know. So, so speaking, speaking on that, uh, you know, maybe we can go like one by one, like what was your guys' favorite piece of art to work on or, you know, video or whatever. Like for me, I got to say, like, I love all the art 
with the bizarre video is just I love I love the monkey. I'm just such a big bizarre fan. <laughs> so uh, and uh, I know uh, you know I know there was some original music on the bizarre video too, uh, Mr. Shackley. You picked. I liked that. I thought it was really mysterious and cool. I had you send it to me. Um, I think uh, you know the bizarre video is my favorite. But what's is there anything that sticks out? For any of you, of what your favorite piece to work on was, or anything like that, my favorite ones uh, is Covenant. And the, the death, Covenant, yes. yeah, the yes. space degen farming, yeah. yes, yeah. I, so I remember when Toshi and I were writing this script for that, and you know, he had started it, and I was helping make some edits, you know, last uh, April or something, yeah. and then to see it come to life and the job that you guys did with it is like, Oh man, <laughs> this is amazing. You know? Yeah. And you know, we're very not well known. And so, you know, people don't know about it, but when we're well known and they'll go back and, and see like, you know, how much, you know, love and care went into making those videos and how cool they are. It's really going to resonate with people. I think, mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. What about, what about you? It's been the most, uh, so for me, I like to work on many things. The stuff I really like more, I, it's under NDA right now, oh, still has yeah. to come out, <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot yeah. speak about it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we had the. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice outfit. I love it. So we'll we'll move on. David, what about you? Is there anything particular that you have really enjoyed working on? Bidlerberg stuff too, so cool. Oh, David might have a problem with his mic. I forgot. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vale, what, what, what about you? Uh, for me, uh, I like to draw a lot of monkeys. So, yeah. as a characters, uh, my favorites are are monkeys. Nice. And uh, I, I made a boat. lot of trial, and uh, I, I was happy at the, at the end uh, when I found the uh, shape. Very cool. And Very cool. Uh, second is an old landscape uh, that I made for item, but is yep. old now. And yep. uh, was very big. I was I'm so happy of that drawing. Yeah. But yeah. now it's, it's old. I don't know if we use it anymore. Right. And I made on a paper and uh, was a lot of work and. Uh, yeah. That 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 drawing, <laughs> and monkey. Nice, nice. nice. Yep. Uh, JPN, what's been your favorite piece of art or video or? I you know I got a shout out too. I loved the uh, the Bilderberg and just all the visuals in the Bilderberg and everything like that. That was so cool too. Um, so you know, there's so many things to compliment, but there's a couple that stand out in my mind, and you guys really nailed it on those things. I think. Oh yeah, the, the Bilderberg had a lot of great visuals, both the the video components, but also just like the backgrounds and the, the the like dashboard kind of things that were behind everyone those were just they were nice and clean and fresh and uh, it it made it look so good uh while remaining on brand and then oh gosh i i th i think some of the covers for the articles have been some of the, my favorite pieces yeah. of art to come out yeah. those are just every single one of them is an absolute banger we have you know, from yep. the, from the Wild West ones to the uh, <laughs> to I, I think we had some other Western themes in the very start. I mean, all of them are just like they have the characters, they have cool scenes, stuffs going on in them. They're all they're all very alive, and th those are some of the my favorite pieces that have come out. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. Hey guys, it's it's been nice to hang with you. I've got to take off, but always so much fun to hang with the art team. And and thank you for you know coming and you know speaking to this stuff. And it's so cool. You know, I know a lot of the fans of the project always want to hear from you guys and you know the work that you do. And you know, it's kind of behind the scenes, but so very much appreciated. So uh, I've got to run, so but uh, yeah, thanks guys. Always fun to hang out. And thank you, uh, JPN. Um, you guys, uh, everyone have a good day, all right? All right. You too. Take care. Thanks. Thank you so Bye, much, guys. guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, guys. Cheers. JPN, I cannot hear you, but thanks, man.